Hi all, this is Chris Charles, Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be doing the solution to Macro Monday, hide columns or rows. As you saw in the video, um, we've got a couple message boxes that says, hey, do you want to hide these, yes or no? That forces you to use an if statement, which is awesome. Um, and it's really important because if you can learn how to use loops and if statements, um, then really all it is is just learn the syntax and you can really get a lot of stuff done. So um, if you can get this, if you if you were able to get this done, uh, kudos. Um, it's a it's definitely kind of a more of an intermediate or advanced or harder harder macro Monday. But what we're trying to do is we're going to make a selection and then we're going to hide the rows or columns within that selection. So we're going to go sub and we're going to call this hide calls rows. That's just what we're going to call it. We need to know what our start row is. So we're going to go RW is equal to selection dot And that's going to give us, now you'll notice I was playing around right here. Um, first thing I actually tried didn't work, which, you know, that happens. Um, so one of the things about coding is that if you can't figure it out one way, really what you're going to do is you just need to keep keep working on it. So um, you'll notice that that selection gives me row 14, which I am in 14. I'm only in one, um, one row, um, but we need columns. I'm just going to use CL as the variable on that. Um, and the reason why selection.cells11 works is because selection is basically a range. So I'm going to do the same thing here, except I want column, and then I want, I need to know my row count. So we're going to go R, R C and T is equal to, we're going to go selection dot rows dot count. Now, this is a little different. Um, you'll notice that I use row. Row is going to return back a single um, a single integer or the number of the row. Rows is more of a, hey, this range has a bunch of rows. How many rows do we have? So let's count those. Um, that's what we're specifically doing here. And we're going to do a C count, which is the column count. And this is going to be the same thing. And this is going to give us the really the variables that we need. Um, columns count. Now you notice again that's that's plural because we are looking for the the all of the columns, and then we are we are asking the code to count those columns. So I'm just going to run through this real quick. F8. Um, this should be 14. This is going to be I, which is going to be like 10 or something like that. Nine. That's close. And these should both return one. Yep, one there, one there. Let's make a quick change. I'm just changing my selection just to see if that changes. That goes to 12, that's perfect. That goes to six. We've got a four and then this should be three and we're golden. So now we have our variables. Now what we have to do is we actually have to go in and um, say, hey, do you want to delete columns? Do you want to delete the rows? So simplest way to do that is we're going to make a, this is going to be our inbox, which is for message box. MSG box and it's going to be hide call hide hide rows question mark and then we're just going to do VB and this is going to be yes no and we're not going to do a title I don't want one for now and then we're going to do C inbox is equal to MSG box hide columns okay that's funny because I didn't put a space in here, that's kind of funny. I've been writing, been writing some, uh, I've been writing some SQL and in my column headers, I don't typically put in spaces, so that's kind of funny how that. All right, so now what we've got is we've got the framework of this solution. So it's gonna be RW12. Do I want to hide rows? Uh, I'm gonna say yes. And on this one, I'm gonna say no. Now you'll notice that I've got RM box equals six, C box equals no. That is a constant in uh, VBA. 
So VBA yes, which is what I'm going to use later, which you'll see. Um, it uh, VBA yes is a constant or an integer, and yes equals six, no equals seven. So a little confusing at first, but once you kind of figure out that that's kind of what they're doing, um, it takes a little while, but once you got that kind of grasped, it's super helpful. So next thing we're going to do is we've got to put in our if statement. We're going to go if rm box equals VB yes, then we're going to do something. I will typically, when I do my if statements, a couple things, I will always do my if with my criteria. So in your criteria has to be equal then, less than, equal, less than, less than or equal to, not equal to, etc. Then it has to be followed by then. And then I will almost always put go hit enter and put in my end if. And the reason is, is because if you're writing nested ifs or an if within an if, um, if you haven't done that, it can get kind of confusing, kind of hard to read actually. So that's that's just what I do. So now what we need to do is we need to delete these rows. We're going to delete these with a loop. So we're going to go do while. So the first thing we need to do is we need to set. Uh, okay, so we want to, we're going to do a four. Four. We're just going to use um, R is equal to rw and we're going to go to rw plus r c and t and this is simply just a loop and um, what it's going to do is it's going to say r is equal to in this case it's going to equal to, it's going to equal 12 right and i'm going to want this to equal to 12 plus my number of rows which is 4 um, which is going to give me 16. So I'm actually going to need to back one out here because I need to. I'm, I'm counting that first one, not the second one. And now what we need to do is we're going to go rows r dot hidden equals true. Okay. So that was, let's just see if that works. I haven't finished this code, so I'm just going to drag that up. Um, it doesn't like row because row returns a single single row, not a range of rows. And we're going to walk through this. Now, you'll notice the VBS equals 6. That's 6. VBS equals 6. Told you that would kind of be confusing. So now we're going to hide a row. And you'll notice that we went from 12 to 13. Now we're to 14. And now we're to 15. And now we're hidden and we move on. So that is how you do that for the rows. Now, once you've got the rows down, super easy to do your columns because all you have to do is you just change this to C, C in box. And this is going to, we're just going to make this C. Uh, just clean up the variables because it makes more sense. Uh, is equal to CL plus C, C, and T. This needs to not be R, this needs to be CL. So I just want to make sure my variables are clean. C is equal to CL plus count, the count of the columns. And this is not going to be, this is going to be columns. Now, if you'll remember when we went back, and you can actually look down here, we said no on that. So it's going to just skip that section. So really quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to do the unhide, um, unhide, in comparison to what we just did is just remarkably simple so we're just going to get that done so this is unhide and this is super simple cells hidden equals false okay that's it I mean I told you it was simple um, I put it on there as extra credit it's actually the easiest part of this whole thing except I got an error here unable to set the hidden property of a range class. So we're going to go um, let's do, uh, oh yeah, that's right. It doesn't allow me to do cells because cells are not rows. So we're going to go um, cells.rows hidden equals false. That should work. Notice that those came back. And then in order to do your columns, you probably are way ahead of me and thinking, hey, this is now very obvious. 
and we're just going to do columns. Um, the reason why cells didn't work is because a cell has a column and a row. That's why that was an issue. Um, and obviously, um, I've been doing this for a while, so um, I was able to kind of know that right out of the gate. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna hide these right here. Uh, let's set this to our uh, hide rows and columns. I'll click OK. I'm gonna click on this. Um, now go no, and then no, and it doesn't do anything. Come on, there we go. Yes and yes, bam, and they're gone. Now what's interesting, what's cool about the newer versions of Excel is it actually gives you the highlight. Those cells are actually still selected, they're just hidden. You'll notice that little little dot right there. And all we want to do now is just unhide those. We're going to run that little bad boy here. And we are back. So that's the Macro Monday of hiding columns and rows. That's a good little challenge because it does get you to use the um, a loop and an if statement. There's probably a couple other ways to do that, but um, this is a really, really good one. Um, hope you guys enjoy this.